they're waiting for us. This delegation is from Earth Caravan. It's a global interfaith organization wanting to bring peace, happiness and healing to the world. They came to Rome to present a Hiroshima Flame of Peace candle to Pope Francis, along with this request. So, Holy Father, please, will you blow out this flame? So there will never again be another Nagasaki, so there will never again be another Hiroshima. This candle was taken from the embers of the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima in 1945. There's another one in Hiroshima that will burn until the end of all global nuclear weapons. Earth Caravan was accompanied by Hiroshima survivor Tetsuku Turlo. She was 13 years old when the bomb fell. For her, it's important that the future generations prevent such a tragic event from ever happening again. It's abhorrent morally to commit indiscriminate mass killing of innocent, non-combatant. International law does not permit that. The fighters, soldiers fight against soldiers, but fighters don't kill women and children and babies and elderly. The organization wanted to show their support for Setsuko Thurlow by bringing along these young girls carrying the candle. So as a symbol, we, we brought uh, four uh, 12 and 13 year old girls with us who share her wish to, uh, for the end of nuclear weapons in the world. My daughter and I came to show support uh, as part of the Jewish community. So the four girls that are here are from four different religions and four different countries. Earth Caravan was originally started by a Tao Sangha Buddhist community. It uses what tragically happened 74 years ago in Japan to prevent all forms of violence and injustices globally. So as a Palestinian, you might say, well, what do I have to do with Japan and the nuclear weapons there? But it has been wonderful because the Earth Caravan has also been able to give me a voice as a Palestinian in my struggle to end occupation and to bring peace to the Middle East. While in Rome, they'll also be meeting with the mayor of Rome, Virginia Raggi, and speaking to school children in Supino as a way of promoting their call for peace across the world.